Hey, Sean Chandler here with the Daily Movie News Roundup. There is only one story to talk about today, and that is there is going to be a Star Wars spoof movie made from the guys that brought us Epic Movie, Meet the Spartans, and Vampires Stuck. Yes, those brilliant minds, Seltzer and Friedberg. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Or is they're known to most normal people, the worst spoof movie makers of all time. What title did they give to this movie? Here we go. Star Worlds Episode 34 E equals MC squared. The Force Awakens the Jest Last Jedi who went rogue. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Here's the deal, if you are a fan of the work of Seltzer and Friedberg, you have no taste in movies or comedy, but fair enough, we all like weird, stupid things and have unique things that we're drawn towards that are awful and stupid and we should be embarrassed that we like. Yours is that you like their movies. So if you're a fan of their movies, you should be very excited that they're getting a new property and it's Star Wars, so they'll probably even get more budget money than they normally get. Now take that category aside, now there's the rest of humanity, and there's absolutely no reason for you to be excited about that. And even if you really want a Star Wars spoof movie, you should be furious right now. It's very simple. They are the worst spoof movie makers in the history of cinema. They don't understand what spoofs are, what satire is. They are terrible at this. They do not understand comedy. Their idea of making a spoof is to take a movie and then do a silly version of it with lots of dick jokes, and so you can just guarantee right now there's gonna be guys holding up their lightsabers right where their wiener's at, and then it's gonna get longer. Get the joke? There's gonna be all sorts of jokes all about someone using the force to pleasure someone else. Get the joke? That's what they do. And then what, what'll happen is that the latest pop singer will walk in, Taylor Swift will walk in, and it's someone pretending to be her singing some song that has nothing to do with Star Wars. It's it's not clever, it's just a pop culture reference. That's how they do humor. It's a silly, exaggerated version of the movie that they're spoofing with dick jokes and fart jokes and poop jokes and pop culture references that make absolutely no sense that aren't clever. It's just, look, silly stuff that you recognize. That's all it is is when they did a spoof of twilight with vampire suck it's not like it was clever and it was insightful and tore it apart no it was just let's do a silly version of it like hey do you like old men that are vampires get the joke because it's pedophilia and necrophilia get it like that's that's the depth of their humor hey do you like sleeping with dogs do you like bestiality get the joke because he's a werewolf like that is the depth of the humor here that you can expect when they're trashing twilight something ripe for satire and spoof so if you want a star wars spoof movie this one is going to give it to you, but it's not spoof because it's not actually comedy because it's not actually funny. You're just going to get this an abomination of a movie that's not, it's like an insult to spoof, it's an insult to satire, it's an insult to humor, and it's targeting Star Wars. You should be furious because it means you're not going to get this generation's space balls. We're not going to get that. We're going to get this piece of garbage. If you're wondering, I did just burp about three seconds ago. We're gonna get this crap instead of what you actually want. If you like Star Wars and you're just kind of open to the idea of a spoof movie, this is going to be this offensive thing. Get ready, do everything in your power to, to take all your fanboy rage and target it towards these people to get them to stay away from this. Because I'll put myself in that camp of, I would love a good Star Wars spoof for this generation. It's time for another one. You could, you could say Lord and Miller are going to do uh, Spaceballs 2 or just their own version of it. That'd be incredible. You say that uh, Seth MacFarlane's going to do it. That'd be incredible. There's all these names you could put out there saying they're going to do some sort of new twist on a Star Wars spoof and it would be great news. No, it's not those people. It's these guys that are con artists or something. I don't know what they're doing, who they're sleeping with, how much money they have. What is going on that these guys 
are allowed to make these movies, but they are. And here's the part that's even crazier. They're profitable enough that they keep getting more money to make more of them. And they're not even trying to make them good. They're not trying to do anything with it. It's just a marketing thing because you can cut a trailer of a Star Wars spoof that'll make a bunch of 13-year-old boys be like, oh, look, that looks funny, and go to it. And then they make more of them in the future. So let's go to our last category. If you're someone that writes stuff, has aspirations for making movies, if you have anything to do with comedy, you should be offended that these guys keep getting to make this crap. I've written plenty of script, done lots of scripted type, humor type things, even spoof type stuff. I'm offended that these morons keep getting to make this stuff. They don't know what comedy is. I don't know if they're making these movies honestly or if they've just, it's like a money making scheme and they're just like the sleazy dirtbags that are willing to just go along with the scheme that they know will make money and they just put two millions out into making a crappy movie and they'll make. $30 million off of it and they get plenty of plot. I don't know what the formula is if they're or if they're just honest guys that think they're making funny movies and they just have the sense of humor of a nine-year-old. I don't know what's going on here, but you should be mad. You should be offended. You should be pissed off that this is happening unless you're a fan of their work, in which case just go ahead, run straight into the wall, hope that you get very specific acute brain damage that removes the part of your brain that makes you like their movies because it's the worst aspect about you, because they make horrible, horrible movies, and now they're going to take their plague and put it onto Star Wars. But that's just one man's opinion. I could be wrong. Tell me, why is this good news? Give me some reason why this would possibly be good news in the comment section, because I don't want to just talk about how these con artists are making terrible movies and robbing opportunities for someone else to make a good Star Wars spoof movie. I want to talk about how these guys are con artists. They're robbing someone else of the opportunity to make a good spoof movie with you. If you're new to my channel and you've never clicked that subscribe button, please consider clicking that subscribe button. I have one of these daily new movie news roundup deals each day during the work week, as well as I do several movie reviews each week. And then I have a live show on Sundays. I've been talking a little bit too fast, so I got out of breath. I don't normally start sweating like this and lose my breath, but... I care that much about you guys and stopping you from supporting this movie or giving them their money or giving them any money. So, yeah, there we go. Thank you for watching.